Hi, I hope you're having a great day today. Just wanted to visit with you about this coming Sunday. We're going to be studying uh, Cain and the sin problem that he had, which was selfishness. You know, we need to remember that sin is crouching at every one of our doors. Genesis chapter 4 and verse 7. It's our responsibility to rule over temptation. Sin isn't easy to control. The Bible tells us that it's like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, as the devil's behind every temptation to sin. However, success is assured to each and every one of us. If we will resist the devil, he must flee from us. James chapter 4 and verse 7. The devil has no more power over us than we give him. The Lord God of heaven promises to us a way of escape with every temptation. What a blessing that is. We need to know assuredly that the way comes early in temptation. Don't give the devil any time at all, but leave early. For every second that we tarry in the Satan's presence, he gains more control over us. Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Paul instructs us to flee temptation and flee youthful lust. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 18. Flee, get away. We must change our minds and think of heavenly things and not the selfish things of this world. Cultivate a mind that says, I will not remain where sin abounds. Instead, I will call on the name of the Lord to help me in every situation. Cultivate a heart that says, I love God more than anything else. Praise God when we do sin. We do have an advocate who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 1 John chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. God will forgive us each and every sin that we take to him and confess, 1 John chapter 1, verses 7 through 9. I want to invite you to come and be a part of our services Sunday. We start at 9.30 for Bible class, 10.30 for worship, then again 6 o'clock for worship on Sunday night. I hope you'll come. Bring a friend and bring your Bible. I hope to see you there.